What started as a high-speed police chase involving a stolen school bus ended with two officers firing their weapons at a South Jersey teenager. The gunfire erupting on the Walt Whitman Bridge. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is in Camden with the latest on this investigation. Hi, Matt. Hey, Jess, you know, this is only the second shooting involving officers with the Delaware River Port Authority in its history. Now, investigators are trying to determine if the shooting was justified. And it ended up uh, over at the bridge at that point. This is the $60,000 school bus authorities say was stolen by a 17 year old boy. His joyride ended here on the Walt Whitman Bridge around 1230 this morning, but it started several miles away at H.A.D. Hart and Sons bus dealership in West Deptford Township. That's where the teen somehow got into the bus, drove it off the lot and whizzed right past a West Deptford police officer. Our officer in our town, uh, he was reporting that it was between 80 and 90 miles an hour. The officer tried to pull the bus over, but the teen driver kept going, traveling toward Philadelphia and speeding. But it was getting to um, a point where it was becoming reckless, that it could have been a public safety hazard, and we terminated the pursuit. Moments later, the bus crashed into a guardrail on the Walt Whitman Bridge. You can see the bus is tilted from what looks like a blown out tire. Then police say the teen suspect got out of the bus wearing a mask. When officers approached, he pulled out a knife. John Hansen is with the Delaware River Port Authority. He was holding the knife. He walked towards the officers. They uh, backed up. He, they issued commands for him to stop, and he suddenly charged, at which point the officers discharged their weapons. The Delaware River Port Authority police officers were faced with an unfortunate situation. And authorities couldn't yet say how many times that teenage suspect was struck by the gunfire or where he was hit. They do tell us that he's in stable condition over at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, but there are other unanswered questions like, does that boy have a history with police? We're working to get those answers for Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting live in Camden, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, we'll see you then. Thank you.